Gymnastics is not as easy as it looks. It's the talent of professional athletes that makes it seem like the easiest profession in the whole wide world. As we all know, gymnastics is one of the toughest sports in the world and the athletes who specialize in this particular type of sport are extremely talented. They train with their conditioned bodies to achieve amazing control over their discipline. Gymnasts are expected to perform flawlessly, especially at the Olympic Games. Here are the expectations of which teams we can see winning in the Olympics this year. These are the best gymnastics teams set to dominate this year's Olympics. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Who are the experts saying will win at the Tokyo Summer Olympics? Simone Biles and the U.S. women's gymnastics team is expected to win in Tokyo. Simone Biles is without a doubt not only the best gymnast to be seen at the Tokyo Olympics, but she's one of the best, if not the best, athlete on show at the Summer Games this year. She's also the favorite to have the highest scores in all-around performances. Biles is aware of the pressure. She seems to actually welcome it. Look no further than the sequined goat she has nicknamed Goldie that occasionally finds its way onto her competition leotard. The symbol, a play on the acronym for greatest of all time, is both a nod to her hard-earned status as the most talented gymnast on the planet and the outsized expectations she faces in her facets of her life and competition. It's a delicate thing, one that will take center stage when the 24-year-old American steps in front of the world in the Tokyo Olympics later this year. All she has to do is somehow one-up her performance in Rio de Janeiro when she won five medals, including four gold, and entered the rare field air of Olympic royalty previously reserved for the likes of Michael Phelps, Usain Bolt, and Nadia Comaneci. Whatever bar is set for her by others pales in comparison to the bar Biles sets for herself. It's why she found herself in tears at the U.S. Olympic trials when an off night in the finals left her frustrated and angry. Her mother always taught her she competed against herself alone in life. She takes that to heart. It's that drive that led Biles to return to the gym after a year off after her success in Brazil. New coaches Laurent and Cecil Landy helped her put together a plan that required her to not only simply regain the skills that made her the best in the world, but to build upon them. She's unveiled a series of boundary-pushing elements over the last four years, and her latest, the Yurchenko Double Pike Vault, which has only previously been done in international national competition by men, will become the latest to bear her name in the sport's code of points if she's able to land it successfully in Japan. The Americans are heavily favored to win their third consecutive Olympic title together with so many other disciplines. Having Biles helps, but the U.S. squad is as loaded as ever. Sunisa Lee, who actually outscored Biles in the all-around during the second-day Olympic trials, is a revelation on uneven bars. Jordan Child's steadiness in 2021 turned her from a fringe Olympic candidate to a gymnast who may come back to the States with multiple medals. We will simply have to wait and see. There's so much variety, national team coordinator Tim Forrester admitted he actually potentially sacrificed a few tenths of a point by choosing Grace McCullin to fill out the four-woman team instead of Michaela Skinner, who will compete as an individual. We're so, so fortunate that our athletes are so strong that I don't think it's going to come down to tenths of a point in Tokyo, Forrester said confidently. Jade Carey for the U.S women's gymnastics team. Jade Ashton Carey is an American artistic gymnast. She's best known for her powerful and high-difficulty exercises on vault and floor exercise. On vault, she is the 2017 and 2019 World Silver Medalist and 2018 Pan American Champion and the 2017 United States National Champion. On floor exercise, she is the 2017 World Silver Medalist and the 2018 Pan American Champion. She was a member of the the teams that won gold at the 2019 World Championships and the 2018 Pan American Championships is a five-time member of the United States Women's National Gymnastics Team, 2017 to present. In February, Carey competed at the 2021 Winter Cup where she only competed on vault, uneven bars, and balance beam. She finished second on vault behind Jordan Childs, sixth on uneven bars, and ninth on balance beam. The following month at a national team camp, Carey was named to the national national team for the fourth time. During podium training for the national championships, Carey debuted a laid-out version of the Biles 2. 
triple twisting double salto. She may just surprise at this year's Olympics and will help her team take gold. The US men's Olympics team versus Russia, China, and Japan. Winning might come down to the wire, however, in the men's competition, where Russia, China, and potentially host Japan figure to be in a fight for the top of the podium in the team event. Russian Nikita Norganai, the 2019 World All-Around Champion, leads the field in the men's all-around. While the Japanese and Chinese men have dominated gymnastics in recent Olympic cycles, Nikita Norganai is at the forefront of a resurgent Russia eager to reclaim bragging rights. At the 2021 European Artistic Gymnastics Championship in April, Norganai became the first gymnast to perform a triple back pike somersault in his floor exercise routine, setting a bar for the men's all-around competition that few are likely to reach. Popular on social media where he chronicles his training and daily exploits, in Tokyo, the 24-year-old is not just eyeing the individual all-around title, but hoping that he and his neutral Russian Olympic Committee teammates be able to clinch the first team gold for Russian athletes since 1996. There's been a changing of the guard of sorts among the American men who are trying to get back to the podium for the first time since the 2014 World Championships. Brody Malone, a 20-year-old from Northwest Georgia, supplanted six-time national champion and two-time Olympian Sam Mikulak as the program's standard bearer after winning both the U.S. championships and the Olympic trials. Kohai Uchimura will help Japan. Uchimura qualified for his fourth and final games in a tiebreaker and is set to end his illustrious Olympic career in his native Japan. Sometimes called King Kohai, Uchimura became the first male gymnast in 44 years to win back-to-back -back Olympic all-around titles at the 2016 Games, leading Japan to gold in the team event. The 32-year-old three-time Olympic gold medalist will not compete in the all-around in Tokyo, focusing on the horizontal bar after being plagued by injuries in recent years. Uchimura qualified for the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, Japan, his fourth and home Olympic Games, as an apparatus specialist on the horizontal bar. He's expressed earlier that he could still contribute positively to the Japanese team, but perhaps not with the kind of grueling physical requirements that are necessary for an all-arounder anymore. Since he is competing in Japan and because this is his last Olympics, he has nothing to lose and may surprise everyone with a podium finish. His team's expected to do well at the Olympics since it is in Japan, and they are the team with the third most gold medals of all time in gymnastics. China is always a force to be reckoned with. The Tokyo-bound Japanese squad is now composed of 12 men and 14 women. To ensure that the most competitive athletes are picked, another two trials were held in June and July for both men and women's teams according to the Chinese Gymnastics Administration Center. As long as you're competitive enough and willing to compete, the door of the national team will always be open to you, said Center Chief Myung Zonghi. Liu Yufai added a gold in the floor exercise and a silver on the beam to her individual all-around title, making her the most successful athlete at the initial week-long championship. I missed the last Olympic Games because of injury, so I want to seize the chance this time around," said Liu after the previous event. The gold medal in the women's uneven bars was taken by Li Xinghai, whose 15.033 points was enough to see her win her first national title in individual events. Tang Jijing took bronze with 14.466 points. In the men's parallel bars, Zhao Jinghuang took gold with a routine with a difficulty of 6.9 points, exceeding that for the men's parallel bars gold medalist at the 2019 World Gymnastics Championships. Yu Hao and Lin Chaopan won silver and bronze respectively. Defending champion Huang Mihong won gold in the men's vault despite a poor landing. He still had the highest score of 14.550 points thanks to his routine's high degree of difficulty. Zhang Zhudong and Liu Yang finished second and third, respectively. In the men's horizontal bar final, defending champion Ji Longshen tied with Lin Chengpan on 14.33 points, but Ji took first place because of his higher execution score. Su Wai rounded out the top three. China is the fourth most successful team in Olympic gymnastics history. They're always a force to be reckoned with. That concludes our video. What do you think? Feel free to leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check back soon for another video. Until then, stay safe.